Okay, everyone, how's it going? It is Razor12, and today I got a story to tell you. And also, this map is basically pumpkin things here. So, we're gonna get to the story. This is the story on how I first got out of Roblox. And here is my story. So, long ago. I joined in 2013. I really didn't know what Roblox was or pretty much what Roblox even is in the first place. So basically, when I was pl when I was randomly going through YouTube and all, like doing random things on YouTube, I came across a video that basically showed a user playing he th feed the giant noob. Now, what feed the giant noob is is you place food, you put it on, you put it on a conveyor belt, and it goes straight to his mouth. And then you go through his body, and you get spat out as a piece of poo. Yeah, basically, that that game is the reason why I came to Roblox. And. And it's not only that. Basically, if you were in 2013, your Robloxian character didn't look like Doug Dimidome or a normal bacon hair that you keep seeing almost every time you go into some jailbreak game or Beep City. You would be seeing... You would be seeing pretty much most of... Most of the player base have pink hair if you're a girl and a cool cap if you're a boy. So, I'm technically a boy, so I picked the boy character. I got a cap. I got the cap, and basically, your body looks like the one you're seeing here. But, but I didn't join I was in 7. But imagine your Roblox character, like, the skin color by default was white and not the tan skin. So, your skin color was basically white when you joined Roblox. And you had your body color go, for, go to a red shirt, like a red body color. Now, what this meant was that you're a 2013 person. And when you were... A 2013 person you would basically be a lot more powerful around this time you basically be somewhat powerful not not really all that powerful how not really that powerful but it really was a good character and now continuing on so after a couple of, like, I was in a big in a Pokemon around that time. So, I would basically go on Pokeblocks or any of the games that had Pokemon on there. And I would like it. And then I would come back to it. And when I did that, I basically tried my hardest to, to play this Pokemon game. Like... Back then, you would just get a certain amount of moves, and if you leveled up high enough, you would evolve, and you would gain more moves. And this went on for pretty much a long time, until the dev changed the game to, what am I drawing? And that's when it crossed the line, and that's when the whole community died. However... You can't really play those games because they're deleted, of course. They were deleted off the platform because of copyright stuff, if you know what I mean. But if before the Brick Broads deletion and the whole copyright scare concerning Roblox, there was a lot of Pokemon games. There was Project Pokemon, Pokemon Brick Broads, pretty much all you could find on there. And... And it wasn't just solely that, 
work at a pizza place dominated the front page. Like, it literally dominated the front page. Like, I started Roblox, not from my computer, but from and my iPad. And when I used my iPad, I pretty much liked using my iPad around this time. And I didn't really own a computer of my own. So I didn't really own a computer, let's just say. However, when I did own my iPad, I would usually play it after school. Or when homework got done, all that kid stuff. However, things would definitely change. Oh, things would definitely change as I would have got bored of it like two months in. Like, I got bored of it in June, so I just left it there for a couple of years. A couple of years. And I didn't really get back onto Roblox until, let's just say, I got back in 2016. And trust me, Roblox changed a lot. Like, this was before Jailbreak came. This is before all the cool stuff in simulators came. You had tycoons. You had vehicle... You got... You got vehicle simulator. But vehicle simulator... Simulators didn't get that kind of a bad reputation back then. Because you didn't just drive a car and you got body and you could just spend it. Like, nowadays, tycoons are just basically games that have conveyor belts. And that tried to die with the botter started to spam tycoons up on the front page. And now the only games that are legitimized as tycoons are Restaurant Tycoon, Cologne Tycoon. Anything that's crafted or unique is considered a tycoon. Anything that's low quality, like, I'm not, I don't mean low quality, but if the game is basically, the gameplay variety is low quality, you just do repetitive things, instead of waiting for conveyor belt money, you actually do stuff, that's called a simulator, but Legends of Speed is a running simulator, and I consider it a simulator. Now, here's a little recap. Basically, I've started Roblox in 2013. I played for a couple months and got bored. Then I came back around 2016. And then I kept playing and playing and playing and playing. And then, you're all gonna wonder why. When did I get Builders Club? I got it in 20... I got it in 2017. I got it in 2017. Let's just say. I got it in... I got it in June of 2017. And I earned my... And I that... And I earned my Robux income through it. However... It, it doesn't end there. As... I had my moments, uh, the Ready Player One event, and yes, that'll be a story for next time. And I also got more stories for you, so I think that will end today's story time. Raise the 0626, aka Raise the 12YT, so thank you and bye.